Every year you can see the evolution of the electric outboard motors right in front of our very eyes. What started out as just a slow roll down the lake with your trolling motor has turned into creating big wakes that turn heads at the local lake or reservoir. Should we be surprised to see this innovation hit the tournament scene as well? I don't know, so I decided to go down to Georgia, hang out with my boys, and see for myself what the big hype was around the Georgia Total Electric Championship. This is a tournament where the best of the best from all the different clubs come together to compete to win it all. In the field of boats, you'll see some of the most innovative John Boat conversions out there. Long gone of the days where you had to submit to rising fuel prices, high maintenance motors, and carbon monoxide. Man, we should do a follow-up video on the El Diablo, what it looks like one year later. This right here is an Anthony Jones build. This is just one example of how far tournament anglers will go to outfit their boats with the latest and greatest in electric outboard technology. Yes, by far, gas motors are still leading when it comes to speed. But when you got motors like this, it makes you wonder how much longer that'll be the case. One of the boats here, 35 horsepower equivalent, 96 volts. So here it is, tournament day. It's 4 a.m. and boats are rolling in to get checked in, get their boat number, hit their master switches, and launch their boats. It's not surprising with all the restrictions for electric-only propulsion that big tournaments like this are becoming more and more a thing. Just think, every last one of these boats are driven by some sort of battery power. We're talking no fuel emissions, gas or oil spills, and motors that are pretty much maintenance-free. So now that the tournament has begun, me and the guys found ourselves with a lot of time to kill before weigh-in. So off to the local Walmart to pick up some last minute baits to do some fishing. Oh, I got something guys. Oh, I got something guys. Oh yes, there it is. There it is. All right, I think it's a trout. <laughs> oh my gosh, this current is not making this easy for me. Now, it feels heavy. I don't know if it's because of the current or what, but let's get this guy in here. No, oh, a big trout. Oh my gosh. This is a big trout. This is the biggest trout I've ever caught. Look at this. What a beauty. Oh my gosh. Now, this is what I would love to take home on a dinner plate. This beautiful fish right here. Look at that. You, you got one? <laughs> Oh man, that didn't take long. Yeah. A little crankbait. Yep. Sweet man. Nick is on a fish. I'm recording you, buddy. Hey, that's better than the last video I shot of you fishing, right? <laughs> <laughs> this little guy, a little, yeah. little cutie. Yeah, cutie patootie. All right, baby. Be free. Why'd you do that to that trout, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice one, too. Oh, yeah, it's first walleye. You got another one? Man, Ryan is killing it. Nice. Nice. He's got a nice walleye too. Look at the colors. You should have seen the one that was with him. Yeah. Just came up with Deep green colors, nice man. Got one, Ryan. All right, hooked up, hooked up. Got one on the drop shot. Fishing the fluke. Here we go. Here we go, guys. First Georgia bass for me. Pretty awesome. I believe this is a spotted bass, judging by its mouth. All right, let's let this guy go. All right, we got a big one at the dock. Okay, the whole tournament could have been done right here at the dock. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Troy, he just won the tournament, man. <laughs> that Look at that. There was huge. It was bigger now. You know what I'm saying? Taliban Nation Outdoors. Yeah. In the house, we got the whole crew in town from all over the country winning prize of two e-propulsion navy 6.0s and matching battery packs we got a lot of sponsors a lot of people 
I'd like to thank for putting this on. Matt Boring ePropulsion. You heard right. That's almost $20,000 in motors. ePropulsion sponsored the grand prize of two 9.9 equivalent outboard electric motors. That's the Navy 6.0. What an awesome prize. Man, I'd be fishing my ass off right now for this. No lie. For real. For like, a pair of them? Like, you bet. Come on, dude. Yeah. Talk about stress on the water. Oh, yeah. It's weigh in time, and guys showed up with very respectable bags. There were several contenders for first place, but the winners were Chris Gayton and Aaron Cole, who came in first place with almost 19 pounds. There are many things that contribute to having success out on the water. It could be anything from the fishing gear we use, boat type we fish from, or the motors we install on them. I can't wait to see where things go from here. Will we continue to see major retailers push gas motor sales? Or will electric outboard motors grow to be a major player in the market? I would tend to think the latter. With the natural continuation of innovation only stands to think that we'll continue to see this trend grow. And it's not only happening in Georgia. This is happening throughout our entire nation. Who knows, maybe in the end you'll pull up to your favorite fishing spot and no longer hear the roar of gas or outboard motors. You hear that? Do you hear that? But instead hear the quiet sounds of nature as boaters run from spot to spot. Time will tell. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What are you seeing in your area? Are you thinking to make the switch yourself to an outboard electric motor if you haven't already? After all guys, the only thing constant in this world is change.